Our top story tonight is the animal overflow in southeast Texas. Two shelters in Beaumont calling on the community to adopt as the kennels fill up. Good evening everyone, thanks for being with us. This issue is not new, but it may be worse than ever before. The Humane Society of Southeast Texas is housing animals in bathrooms in makeshift kennels. 12 News reporter James Grant has more tonight on how it got this bad and what the shelters are doing to fix it. Cam, Taylor Westfall with the Humane Society says summertime usually brings an influx of stray animals. He says this summer is no different and the shelter is once again overflowing with animals needing a permanent home. We have 30 kennels um, and then in our cat room adoption that we're currently in, we have 18. So that's 48 uh, cats and dogs plus our two colonies. Uh, we currently have in our care 160 animals. According to Taylor Westfall with the Humane Society of Southeast Texas, the animal shelter is taking drastic measures to keep up with an influx of stray animals. We were kind of having to store cats in bathrooms, dogs and kennels that aren't designed to really be kennels. He says this summer has brought an abundance of strays. It's warming up, you know, everybody's out and about. Uh, maybe you're not at the house and you put your dog outside and he gets loose or just the fact that, you know, everybody's moving around, it's not cold, stretching legs, and then meeting another cat, meeting another dog, boom, a litter's made. The Humane Society isn't the only shelter having issues. Beaumont Animal Care took to Facebook, sharing that they too are past capacity. They hope people will get out and adopt, or at least consider temporarily fostering a pet. Westfall says nonprofit shelters typically rely on larger shelters in cities like Houston to take in extra animals. We try to all band together and get transports up north, but uh, those things take time, resources, and money. A lot of things that a nonprofit doesn't have. In the meantime, he recommends people spay or neuter their pets to cut down on the high number of strays in the area. And a reminder that this problem won't go away unless Southeast Texans step up to help. Westfall asks you to consider adopting or at least spread the message to someone you know. James Grant, 12 News.